show you how to find the correlation coefficient on the TI-84. We've got some data here. We've got a column for age and a column for weight. So obviously this is a statistical measurement and so we will be going into our stat button. All right, the first thing you're going to need to do is edit your lists and enter your data. To save time in the video, I have went ahead and added the age into the L1 list and the weight into the L2 list. Once that is completed, then you can hit your stat button and arrow over to calc and then let's choose four. So you can either arrow down or choose four. All right, now what this is going to do, this is going to give us a linear regression. Our X list is in L1, which should automatically come up. If not, you could change that. Your Y is uh, in L2. We don't need to worry about the frequency list, and unless you want to store the equation, you do not have to put anything there. So you are going to uh, go all the way down to where it said calculate. Once you hit enter, all you are going to get is your slope and your y-intercept for the linear regression. So we are needing that correlation coefficient. In order to get that, you have to go into the catalog to turn it on. Your catalog on the TI-84 is second catalog or second zero. Once you get to this list, you are going to scroll down until you get to diagnostics on. There's a choice for diagnostics on and there's one for diagnostics off. All right, we need to turn diagnostics on. So select that and then hit enter. And then when it pops up on the screen like this, you're gonna have to hit enter again. All right, we'll go ahead and hit second quit to clear out that. And then let's go back into the stat button, arrow over to the right for calc, and then select four. So again, we are going back through that linear regression that we had done before. We'll arrow down to calculate and hit enter. And as you can see now, the value of R, which is 0 0.97907, is our correlation coefficient, and it is now showing. So pretty straightforward. You just have to make sure that you turn diagnostics on in order to get that correlation coefficient to show up. Definitely, thanks for watching. And if the videos are helping, don't forget to share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.